I'm Spencer Morris. I'm the um, proprietor of uh, Soham Cider Works Company, and um, I'm the farmer and the cider maker, and today I'm the bartender as well. And our tasting room here in Warren, um, where uh, the name uh, Soham's uh, is uh, in reference to uh, the land that, uh, that the apples are grown on. It's the uh, traditional First People's name for this area, which includes uh, Swansea, I believe, uh, Bristol, Warren, and Barrington. And uh, it just seemed appropriate in that uh, what I produce is, uh, comes from the land, and uh, it ultimately winds up in the glass, which uh, we can celebrate. Uh, so, uh, Soham Cider Works Company. Yep. That's the name of the place. People are interested in it, and they are um, what I, th what I think um, uh, most surprises folks is the uh, extent to which uh, Soames uh, is, includes you know these other towns, um, and uh, I believe that um, the name Soames was the original name when the town of Warren was originally uh, established formally uh, under the name Soames. And um, the name Warren uh, relates to an English admiral, uh, Sir Peter Warren, who really had nothing to do with this area. Uh, he was a war hero at the time, and it was, I guess, appropriate for communities to rename, uh, to glorify the accomplishments of some of these early uh, uh, war heroes, if you will. Um, so, uh, kind of reconsidering, you know, the, the origin story of this area, uh, uh, Soham seemed a much more appropriate name for, uh, for what I'm doing here. And, and the other thing that I've learned is that um, while we understand the, uh, some of the agriculture, cultural exchange between Native people and uh, the European arrivals, so with respect to uh, food goods and the fact that uh, uh, the, um, the, the, the first colonies would not have survived without an understanding and the benefit of um, native agriculture. The one thing that the Europeans brought that was kind of new to the new to the area was the apple seed, and in fact that um, the culturing of apples uh, was adopted by native people to the extent that when uh, settlers European settlers moved into uh, regions to the west, particularly the Ohio Valley, there were already established orchards that were brought there by native people. So um, there is an exchange of sorts, I guess you could recognize, and um, uh, so I feel like um, that's, that's worthy of acknowledgement. There's a lot of lore that goes with every apple. Every apple seems to have a story. Um, and the, uh, the, the um, yellow sweeting is the apple that uh, was attributed to William Blackston, and it seems to have disappeared uh, in the annals of history. However, some feel that, um, that, the, that, that the yellow sweeting is in fact the Rhode Island greening. And I would dispute that because if, any, if you know anything about a Rhode Island greening, um, it, you would never call it yellow sweeting. First of all, it's green. Secondly, it's tart. Mm -hmm. And um, third, there's a much better story about the origin of the yellow, of the Rhode Island greening. And um, that story is, is documented in the Johnny Cake Papers, which um, uh, suggests that the Rhode Island greening, in fact, came from the Garden of Eden uh, through the um, offices of a Newport ship captain who was plying the uh, waters of the Indian Ocean during a storm and rescued a Persian prince. Upon returning the prince to his father was presented with a, a tree in a pot. And that is, um, we believe, the original Rhode Island greening, which arrived back in Newport. Um, Short of that, um, it could have been just a seedling that sprouted up near the Greens Tavern in Newport County in 1670 uh, and uh, was uh, so desired by other growers that uh, so many cuttings were taken off that original tree that it perished. But by then, um, 
people were growing Rhode Island greenings all over the state. In fact, it became the most commonly grown green apple in New England uh, to be supplanted by um, Granny Smith, unfortunately. Uh, Granny Smith is a heretic. It's, a, it's an Australian apple um, and not uh, as worthy as, as a Rhode Island greening, in my view, uh, both for making cider, fresh eating, and uh, cultivating. But um, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story. Uh, that's like I said, every apple has a story. Uh, and many of them are very interesting, very amusing, uh, and uh, um, all truthful, of course.